Welcome to the first ever Q&A on this YouTube channel. This Q&A is going to be about print on demand, about Amazon FBA, about pretty much anything, any questions that you asked on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. I'm going to answer them for you now. I've got my phone here and I've got YouTube up over here because I can't seem to see the YouTube pictures. So we're gonna get started in about 15 seconds. All I wanna say is I wanna quickly give a little message. First, I wanna say thank you so much for everyone who's subscribing, who's liking these videos, who's commenting. I'm nearly at 8,000 and it means the world. So thank you so much, you know who you are. And if you haven't already liked this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, because I think 70% of you who are watching this video haven't actually subscribed, click that subscribe button. And let's get started with this Q and A. So the first question, I'm not gonna give any names just because I don't know if these people want to be known. So the first question is, is it a good idea to start a store these days? I assume he means some sort of print on demand store or some sort of drop shipping store. So I'll just give the answer for both of them. If it's a print on demand store, yes. I don't see why the current climate of things should change that. If it's a drop shipping store, maybe not the best time to start now because shipping times will be slower. It'll be harder to get suppliers on board with the drop shipping. So I would say maybe don't start that now, but what you could do is research it and prepare it so that as soon as this is over, you can get started with your drop shipping store. If you are talking about a print on demand store, then yes, 100% now is the best time to start. The next question, what business could someone with a very small budget start? Advertising costs a lot and it's really hard to start when the budget is tight. What would you suggest in this case? Mm, okay, fine. Well, it depends on how small your budget is. Um, I can give you a starting budget of a few different companies to start. Well, firstly, if you're looking to increase that budget, you could do potentially something on Fiverr, you could do something on Upwork, you could do basically anything freelance, you could get some more money, right? You can triple or quadruple your budget. Another way to do that is also just to go around the house selling stuff you don't want anymore. I know I did that and I ended up getting about eight grand worth of stuff, clothes, shoes, anything I've accumulated over the years, just the stuff that I could sell. I'm actually even thinking about doing a series on that, but just stuff around your house, you can sell and increase that budget. And now whilst we're on the topic of budgets, if you want to start a print on demand, store I would say start with anywhere between like a hundred and two hundred dollars because you want to test each t-shirt or each product with about twenty to forty dollars and you're not going to get success on the first one you're not going to see success on the first one that's very unrealistic so having two hundred dollars to play with is pretty good if you're talking about starting an Amazon FBA store, you're looking at probably needing about five uh, sorry about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars and if you're looking to start um, like affiliate marketing or anything like that, you probably don't need any money. If you want to just do a YouTube channel reviewing products and getting affiliate commissions of those products, you don't actually need any money at all for that. So I hope that answers your question. I'm not going to say your name, but I hope that answers your question. You know who you are. Next question. Are gaming and anime, anime niches good or not and why and what are the best profitable niches okay well i mean that's quite a broad question um i'm not going to pretend i'm an expert of all niches anime i can't see how that's a good niche I'm sorry it's a bit obscure um gaming yes if it's specific to certain games however you have to be very careful not to break copyright or any trademarks or anything like that on the actual game so if you're talking about would you go into that niche, no, I wouldn't based on research I've previously done on it. Um, if you want to know profitable niches off the top of my head, a great one is job titles. So I assume you're talking about print on demand. If you are, job titles is always a good niche like electricians, plumbers, nurses, anything with that niche is uh, pretty, usually pretty profitable. Hi, Shimmy. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. My question is about Facebook ads for print on demand apparel like t-shirts, leggings, tops, and so on. When running the five by five by five ads, this is the ads I spoke about in one of my videos prior, like a while ago, where you run five ads, five interests, $5 each. If you'd suggest to use the same images or video and different interests for each ad or different images and interest for each ad, thank you in advance. Okay, so it's very important that you get this right. You don't, if, you, if you're using five separate images and five separate interests, you're now got five by five by five by five. So you don't want to do that. You want all the, you want, you want the ad copy and the ad image to be the exact same for all the ads and you just want to change the targeting. That way you can see 
which targeting responds the best to your ad right and then you can pause all the other ads and just continue with the best one and then you can do it again for another post right you could do it for another post and get it even with even more whittled down so if you have five interests right with one post once you find out the best interest you get rid of four right so you just got uh, one holding them that finger you have one left and one post what you can then do is you can make a second post with this interest and break up this one interest into maybe three or four or five really go narrow with that one interest right and you're going to get sorry you're going to get super targeted interest with this second post and then you can create lookalike audiences you can create so many different things based on that audience okay that is my advice all right it's a long question Shimmy, do you by any chance know how to go about selling sets on Teespring like mummy and me matching shirts or dad and son sets where there is a corresponding shirt for the baby and one for the father? I don't know if there is a way to set it up to make it easy for buying to purchase without having to make multiple transactions. What do you suggest? Sorry, I'm, my answer is going to have to be no, I do not know the answer to this question. I have never done this before. Um, the only thing I could think of is literally having a, um, a link in the description of one of the t-shirts so that they buy both. Or you could have maybe set up on your Shopify store. Okay, if you have it set up on your Shopify store, you might be able to bundle items a bit better. But I don't actually know about bundling items on Teespring. I'm sorry. Next question. Hey, Shimmy, does your channel just focus on print on demand or are you able to touch on other areas of running an online business? Great videos, by the way. Awesome. Okay, that's a good question. I like that question. So I feel like this is um, a lot of people think that my channel is mainly just print on demand and that couldn't be further from the truth. Whilst print on demand is the most popular topic on my channel, without a doubt, it gets the most views, it gets the most comments, the most likes. It by all means is not the only, you know, video and category and niche on my channel i talk about amazon fba i talk about affiliate marketing i talk about general life stuff general business stuff i talk about lots of other areas credit cards property cars so i talk about a lot of other areas not just print on demand so if you are interested in anything business related right print on demand is obviously the main one because it's just such a popular topic on my channel but if you're interested in anything business related then definitely go and check out my other videos subscribe to my channel and you'll actually see that i've got a whole wide range of videos and not only that but i only will post videos of proven things that i have done myself or i know that work so i won't just go posting videos about anything which is why a lot of my videos are about amazon fba because that is my main source of income it's my biggest business and then i also have videos on creating courses youtube personal branding all these kind of things basically anything making money online so definitely go and check out the rest of the channel because it's not just print on demand and last question on instagram Hey Shimmy, huge fan of your content. I want to know if you would ever consider doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring and if so, what would that look like? I do do, I do do, do do. I do do one-on-one -on -one mentoring, um, providing it fits all the criteria and I have enough time. Generally, I charge 250 pounds an hour, which I think is about $300 around there. Um, I know that's very, very expensive, but the reason I do that is because that is for a one-off, one-hour coaching session. If someone came to me and asked for a month worth of coaching, it would look very, very different. I would probably do one session a week for four weeks, and it would probably be nearer the $600 for all four sessions mark, right? So it's a lot more affordable the more you, the more sessions you book in, basically. Now, that is my pricing as of the... 23rd of april 2020 so if you're watching this video in 2025 my pricing probably would have changed um but yes that is that is kind of how i would do mentoring if you want to talk to me about mentoring if you want personal mentoring and you're okay to pay for it um then dm me on instagram or email me or whatever right those are all the messages i got from instagram let's have a look at my messages on my questions sorry on youtube so we've only got five more questions by the way so this video is not gonna be very long Hi, Shimmy. I wanted to ask, what do you prefer for paid ads, Instagram meme pages or influencer marketing or doing Facebook ads? And if you can give us some free traffic methods to sell print on demand for beginners, thank you. Um, paid ad Instagram meme pages. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, I, I assume you mean creating a meme page and then doing paid ads with those posts. 
okay influencer marketing i'm gonna forget about the meme page one because i don't really understand that bit but the facebook ads versus influence marketing both are really really powerful and especially with t-shirts influencer marketing is good because they can wear the t-shirt in their own photos and a lot of their audience will want to buy so i do think influence marketing is definitely something to test out but I would say test it out after having successful Facebook marketing ads. Once you know you have a successful t-shirt, then you can go and send one of those t-shirts to influencers all around the world, wherever you want to send them to, and um, they can then get you more sales. But I would say start with Facebook ads. And in terms of free traffic methods, um, you name them. You've got Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, basically all the social medias, blogs, articles, um, stuff like that you could probably try and target smaller instagram pages who aren't even looking to get paid for make doing a post or anything they're just looking for content for their little channels so that could probably be pretty good for you right next question how much as ads cost you to get seventy thousand selling on teespring okay so for anyone who hasn't seen my video on how i made seventy thousand dollars selling t-shirts on teespring uh, a lot of questions i've got are how much do i spend on ads the answer to that very very simply is between i don't remember the exact number okay but i know it was 20 to twenty five thousand dollars it wasn't anything more than that and it wasn't anything less than that so it cost me let's just say twenty five thousand dollars to get seventy thousand dollars which is a pretty good profit margin it's more than double way more than double um nearly nearly triple so um yeah that that is how much it cost me and uh yeah that's the answer to that question very simple question that was next one is it better to have broad targeting on your ads or very small targeting and what is the ideal number of people to target to brilliant brilliant question so i'm going to assume you're talking about facebook ads here just because this is kind of the broad targeting that you're probably talking about so it's probably better to have a more smaller targeting more more like basically yeah smaller targeting and you want between 50,000 100,000 so when i say 50 and 100,000 100,000 probably a bit better but i usually would say between 100,000 and 300,000 audience size for each interest so let's say you're doing the 5 by 5 by the five by five by five method with the five different interests you want each interest to have between a hundred thousand and three hundred thousand audience size you do not want to be um making an ad to 30 40 million people or even five six million people because it's just way too broad you need to you need to really whittle it down last question on youtube is which is the best form of online business during this pandemic oh so they asked me the same question on on Instagram. So I've already answered that question. So that's at the beginning of the video. And let's just have a look at the last, last question. I believe this last question is Amazon FBA related, but don't go away because you don't like Amazon FBA. It's still going to be a good question. Hi, Shimmy. I have an order ready to ship to Amazon. My supplier let me know the shipping charges have doubled since COVID-19 outbreak. Do you have any suggestions or just wait it out? Firstly, that is absurd um you should be asking them why has it doubled there is absolutely zero reason for it to have doubled i can understand maybe it going up a tiny bit but for it to have doubled that is outrageous so ask your supplier why it has doubled and tell them i'm sorry that's unacceptable it should not have doubled and if that is the case and it has doubled then yes i would say wait it out because either way amazon aren't accepting new shipments into well they're warehouses at the moment anyway so there is no point you paying double for your stuff to get stuck so wait it out unless your profit margins are ridiculously amazing then yeah then you can send them to yourself but I, if it was me i would wait it out but first before waiting out i would message the supplier and understand why they are trying to screw me over because i would have thought me personally i would have a relationship with my supplier at this point and if they're just doubling the cost of shipping for no reason at all i would think that's quite a slap in the face for someone who's giving them repeat business those are all the questions i hope you like this video this was my first ever q a honestly i didn't think i was going to get any questions so thank you everyone who asked me a question i'm really you know blown away by the fact that I got any questions. So I just want to say thank you very much to anyone who asked me. If you like this idea of me doing a Q&A, maybe I can do it once a week or once a month or once a fortnight or whatever. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this idea of doing a Q&A. And also let me know where I should gather questions from because this, this time I gathered them from YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. But if there's a good place to get questions, like I can post a comment and then 
get lots of questions, let me know in the comments down below. I just want to say thank you so much. Don't forget to smash the like button. And yeah, just thank you very much for watching, commenting, subscribing, all of it. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.